Hello, I'm Kate and this is a charity shop haul. So I hope you're well and you've had a good week. Um, this is going to be going out on Good Friday. So I hope your Easter weekend is going well so far and happy um, Easter. So before I start um, showing you my bargains, I've got to do my mug of the day. I think it's probably one of the nicest mugs that I own. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? With all the like the dark colours, like the forest green and the purple. It's from Tesco and obviously the gold. It's quite a posh mug, isn't it? I love that one. Um, it's from Tesco and I got it last year and I think it was only like £2.50, so it's quite cheap as well. I do like Tesco mugs. I've got some, this is a Fox and Ivy one, I think. I do like the Fox and Ivy mugs, but I don't want to buy them full price. I'll wait till they're in the sale. Hopefully they'll go in the sale. So I've got a coffee and this is my mug of the day. And all the items I'm going to show you are from charity shops in Great Yarmouth. So I've got items from Sue Ryder, um, Scope, um, the RSPCA shop, and I think that was everything, or Bernardo's as well. I think that's all the charity shops and British Heart Foundation for one item. So yeah, that's where everything's from. And I'm going to start off with this. It's a number seven um, beautiful skin hydration mask. So you can use it like as a moisturiser or a moisture boost, it says. And I saw this in Boots not so long ago and I really liked the way the cream was separated. That probably won't last very very long, but I thought, oh, I like the look of that. But I think it was about nine quid, so I didn't get it. And I saw this in Scope and then I went over and I thought, oh, please be like brand new. And it is. It's um, never been used. It's got its like, you know, that seal that, um, you know, it's never been opened before. So that is brilliant. So a brand new um, number seven hydration mask and that was £1.50. Love the look of that. So if you use that, um, let me know if it's good. I'm sure it is because sometimes I get really dry skin. I'm oily and like combination skin. Um, so that'll be quite nice, I think, for when I need a bit of moisture. And sometimes when you do fake tan, um, you can feel a bit dried out, I think. So that might be quite nice after a fake tan. Um, and then this is from Sue Ryder. This was £2. It's a um, treat trio, white stuff little set and inside it's got hand and body wash hand cream because i need more hand cream um, and lavender soap so i'll probably give some of this to my mum i'll probably give the hand cream and the soap i might give the whole thing to my mum actually because she might like that but it's just really cute isn't it so i couldn't I'll leave that behind and these were 1.99 from rspca and there's a set of seven foam baths from marks and spencer and i bet these smell amazing and these are just really handy when you go away on holidays and you need some minis i probably don't need to buy any more like toiletries for a while because i've got quite a lot um but i bet they smell really good and i like the colors so i thought oh, i'll just get that um and yeah, take this when we go um, on holiday or if we go off to a travel lodge or something where you need to bring some extras. Um, so that's all like the toiletry things. I got a couple of books. Uh, these were from, oh, I can't remember. I don't know. They would have been 50p or a pound. This one is, did you see, did you see Melody? Um, outstandingly brilliant, it says. So I think this is another, yeah, another like thrillery book, which I which I like a lot. And then this one, um, this looks good. I let you go from the author of I See You. And I think I read that and that was really good. I read that last summer, Claire McIntosh. Um, so yes, I like the look of these. So I'll take them away on my um, holidays this year. And then I also bought this, I think that was from Scope. It's a little hair wrap, it's from Primark. And I know it probably would have been probably the same price anyway, but I thought it might be quite handy. Um, to take on holiday again because you need an extra hair thing and sometimes you, I put like after I've washed my hair I put it in a big towel it can be quite heavy so that's a, quite a light one and that'll just fit into my suitcase and that was yeah that was a, a pound and I like the little jewel so I got that as well um, and then I don't really know what this is it's some kind of a box but you know when you see things you're like oh, I don't really need that but it's only a quid and it's just lovely so I, I, I bought it I don't know if I should give this to Mr. Carrington, but he might not want any more. He's got quite a lot of stuff, hasn't he? So he might not want this. Um, but I could probably put like hair bands and stuff in there, or maybe I could put it on the shelf um, in our new bedroom when we eventually put shelves on. So I don't know. What would you do with that? Let me know if you've got any ideas um, for a little pot. I don't know where it's from originally. It feels quite H&M home, but I don't know. Um, but I, I don't know, I just wanted it, so I got it. It was only a quid. This is such a good buy. So I was really excited um, when I saw this. I was, I was drawn to the colour. And then when I looked closely, it's Chloe Parfum. So this is probably like a free um, a free gift with a perfume. Or maybe with... No, it wouldn't be with a bag because it says perfume on it, doesn't it? Um, I, I just really like that. So I could use this as a purse, maybe a little clutch. Or just for makeup. And it's got a little pouch 
at the front. I don't know if it's leather. It feels like it is, but it probably isn't. Let's have a look on the inside. Um, it's not been used. It's got those things in, you know, those like sachet things. Um, and it's lined on the inside. I love like the gold. And it was one pound, one ninety nine, and that was from um, yeah RSPCA as well. So I love that. Things like that you're never going to leave behind, are you? That is like charity shop treasure. And as I was driving by the RSPCA charity shop, I saw this in the window and I thought, oh, that is really nice. It's a jug and it's got um, fake flowers in it. And I thought, I wonder if that's for sale or is it just like a display, like a spring display? But I went in um, and it, was, it had 199 on the bottom. It's in perfect condition and they look quite realistic, don't they? Um, and they're like stuck in with a, I don't know, like a cardboard or a flower thing. But just really pretty so i'll put that somewhere i've got no i'll put it on the floor for now but then i'll put it in my house somewhere to brighten it all up and obviously they're fake flowers so they will never die um, right i've got three more things to show no four and then i'm gonna get into the clothes so this was the only thing that i bought from british heart foundation in galston so i just popped in and saw this on the shelf and it didn't have a price tag and this probably had a tea set in it maybe like a kid's tea set, I think anyway, but it was £1.50 um, and I thought I would get it because it's just very, very pretty. I know I probably don't need it. I, I just couldn't resist it. I was like, I'm going to have to get that. And inside it's, um, you know, it's got little hearts in. So I could probably do a couple of cute little Instagram pictures. Um, I'm not sure what else I could use this for. I don't know. Let me know what you would um, use this for. Or oh, should I, do, I probably end up giving it away to like, um, one of my nieces, probably, I don't know, little metal handle, little clasp at the front, and it's in good condition as well. Um, but yeah, I couldn't leave that there. I had to get it as it was Emma Bridgewater, and it's very cute. And then this was a pound. It's a little picture frame with a picture of a panda. I think that's a panda with a funny face. Is that a panda? I think it is. Um, this is from Tiger originally, and it's brand new. It's in its like plastic. Oh, I made a funny noise and it was a pound from Bernardo's and this will probably go on the YouTube wall so I'm going to redo all this I keep saying it but I will at some point once Toby goes back to school after the Easter holidays um I will sort all this out because I've had a good old declutter and I'll link that video below in case you didn't see it um I had a good old sort out of this room and now it's ready to like be you know redone again because that hasn't even got a picture frame that's just stuck on with a bit of sellotape so I need to redo all of this because there's a hole in the wall and then that's like hiding it so that will be one of my jobs next but anyway that was a pound from Tiger and I just I think it's very very cute and then oh these I didn't really need, but I couldn't leave them behind. So once we redo our kitchen, um, these might go in there nicely or they might go in the cupboard. I'm not sure. I do have quite a few tea and coffee like holders, but I don't know. Could you have left those? They were a pound each. They're from Next originally. Um, and that's obviously like a, a pink, a dusky pink. And that's more of a mauve, but I love the colours. And I love um, like the sort of concrete bottoms on them but I could if I wanted to I've said they're a pound each didn't I? I'm sure I did um I could maybe put some plants in them or some fresh flowers or something because you don't have to use things for what they are you can use them for anything so that is all the homeware items and the bits and bobs um I had to show you but I'm now on to the clothes I've got quite a few things to show you and I haven't tried them all on but hopefully they will fit um this is a dress from international so I don't know where that's from. It could be TK Maxx or it could just be like a cheap dress clothes make. I don't really know. Um, it was £2 from Bernardo's and it's just a plain black dress. So it's like a fit and flare dress. And these are just really handy to chuck on um, when the weather's a bit better and you can smarten them up or you can just, you know, wear them with flip flops. But it's quite good length. It feels like well, it's quite long. Um, so hopefully that will be like knee length and I can just chuck that on and wear it. So I'm sure that'll fit. And then I bought this from... Oh, break. So I have got something from a different charity shop. This was in Galston and it was six pounds, which is quite a lot for me, but um, this feels brand new. You know, and you can you tell it's got that brand new feel. The make is Apricot and I've got quite a few dresses by this make and they've lasted really well. So I've got one identical to this, but it's like a gray and white and I've worn it so much over winter because it's really thick. Um, and I think this is going to be perfect for winter. So I'll just put this away, kind of autumn, winter. It's got a little, oh no, it hasn't got a tie at the back. I think my other one did, but it's just, yeah, a nice thick dress and it's quite long and I'm sure I'll get loads of wear out of that um, 
autumn and winter so I shall put that away but yeah it's really pretty really pretty little pattern and um I think apricot are in Debenhams or like there's a shop called Outfit in Great Yarmouth and a lot of it's in there and I think um my other one was 25 pounds so that was good for six quid and then this is another little black dress and probably wear this on holiday um either like with the swimsuit underneath or just in the evening um it's from Der Der Dorothy it's from Dorothy Perkins and it was 1.99 or 2.99 I don't know one of those whatever that says um it's a size 12 and it's got pretty um the tops like whatever that is called pretty fabric and then it's just like t-shirty material on the bottom so really light and kind of perfect on holiday and then oh this is so nice so I took a bit of a gamble on this it's a skirt and I tried it on just before to see and it's really nice and I nearly didn't get it and I'm so glad I did now it's from Scope it was three pounds and originally it's from oh it's Tesco so F and F it's Fred and Florence isn't it Fred and Flo um and it's like stretchy and it's uh long with oh it smells amazing whoever washed this last it's got a little like a couple of flaps oh that, that. <laughs> flaps on the skirt and it's um black with some flowers and leaves on it there isn't another word for flaps, but you know these bits. Woohoo! Um, yeah, so this would look really nice with um, a, like a black vest on on holiday. So I just tried it on with my, my pajama vest, and it looked quite nice. Or I could put it over a swimsuit that's really flattering. It's a nice length as well, so I'm so pleased. So I will be showing that in a few vlogs because I'm sure that's going to like come on every holiday with me now. And then I bought this as well. So this is another one from holiday. Um, that was from holiday. I meant for holiday. Um, again to like chuck over a swimsuit it was three pounds from scope it's from asda originally um i haven't tried this one yet actually i probably need to but it's just a little pink a little pink kind of dress thing like a cover-up beach cover-up thing um with a crossover back and i thought that looked they did have another one i probably should have got that but i i just went for the two i might pop back there and see if they've still got it and then right i've got a few more things this dress is lovely again it's probably for winter though so i'll put this away with that um apricot dress but i just thought it was beautiful like, i love this color it's velvet it's from top shop originally it's got sort of three quarter length sleeves fit and flare because that's a style that suits my figure it's a size 12 i haven't tried this on yet but i'm sure it will fit oh no it's a size 10 but it doesn't look like a size 10 three pounds um from that was bernardo's again and i think that is going to be great for um for winter but it'll look lovely if i have an evening out so i shall put that away this is also from bernardo's it was two pounds it's from primark it's a size 14 and um yeah so this is really handy to just chuck on whenever really so i probably will save that again for winter or um it can be still quite cold so you never know i might get some wear out of it before autumn or winter but i just thought it's really nice and it's the kind of thing i wear a lot with tights and boots um and it i think that's going to fit quite nicely as well not too tight and then one more thing i've got, no, I've got two more things actually to show you one's on my lap here um these were from east coast hospice and this is a brand new polo neck jumper it looks really small there but it's not it's stretchy it's from H&M and it was $24.99 originally and I paid five pounds for it but if you bought one top you got another one free um and then I, so I bought this and that was £1.75 because it was half price so I could either wear this as like a cover-up um on holiday or on the beach or um I might wear it as a dress actually I've got a little um slip to put underneath it so it's not like see-through because it's quite fine material quite thin material um and it looks really nice on so i might yeah i might wear that in the evening on holiday i love the color i think it's so nice so that is everything i've got to show you in my charity shop haul so i hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure you give it a like and please subscribe um unless you have already because then you'd unsubscribe and i don't want that um and i'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers and once i have reached 20,000 hopefully i will soon or in the next few months or however long it takes um lee is going to do a video with me he's going to um buy me an outfit from a charity shop so that'll be quite an interesting video and he hates charity shops or it could be a car boot one. Oh, oh i'd love to i'll drag i know I'll, it'll either be a charity shop video with an outfit or I'll take him to a car boot sale 
and see what he buys because he'll probably hate that even more. I don't know, we'll see. It'll be some video with Lee anyway. Um, so yeah, make try and help me get to 20,000 subscribers and that would be lovely. So yeah, cheers for watching. Let me know what your favourite buy was from this whole haul. Um, if I had to choose, I think it might be the Chloe purse and really like the look of that. And I also like the jug with, the, you know, the roses. I always do this at the end and bring everything back if you've already seen it. I love that. Um, and obviously the next canisters and the orange dress and everything, the velvet dress. So yeah, if you have a favourite, let me know. Um, and I will speak to you soon. I've got the weekend vlog for Monday and then I'm not sure what video is coming up after that, but there'll be another one on Friday. So thanks very much. Have a great weekend. Happy Easter. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.